everybody today we're gonna prepare a dish that is very easy to prepare and, and since we are right now at uh, the rest area it's perfect like just to throw something together real quick and when you are on the road uh, we're gonna make uh, my version or our version of the uh, Spanish dish called uh, garbanzo frito which is just fried chickpeas so we have some some canned uh, chickpeas here that we put on this container and here we have some cubed ham and some uh, serrano ham, which is a Spanish version of prosciutto, and some um, um, what you call it? Salami, salami, and Spanish chorizo. And we're gonna season it with some cilantro, some um, uh, paprika, smoked paprika, and some oregano and some cumin. Very important, the cumin. And um, since all I have here is, is some. Uh, Classic bruschetta, that's what I'm gonna put a little bit to, to give it a tomato. And we bought at the Magnolia Plantation this um, peach infused hot sauce. So I'm gonna try to uh, put it in. You know, it's a, so it's a dish that you can just put whatever you want. If you don't have like Spanish chorizo, you can just put any, any type of sausage, really. Or any type of. Uh, I should turn this on. We're gonna use some olive oil. And the first ingredient, oh, also, some garlic. We're gonna put some garlic in it. But first of all, I have some uh, frozen here. And it froze so good that it stuck to the bottom of the freezer. <laughs> and this is, oh, and I have ice falling all over the floor. This is uh, the by El Salvador. This is like a, a mix of onions and green peppers and, and red peppers. And that's the, 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 the base that I'm going to use first. As soon as this hits, up. And I don't know why everything is jumping all over the place. Let me put this back in the freezer. And we're gonna saute this a little bit. We're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper, of course. I learned that from Blue Apron, whenever you uh, put an ingredient, you add a little salt and pepper. So everything gets a little bit of flavor. Although with this dish, we're gonna be a little careful with the salt because this stuff is really salty. So you don't wanna put too much salt, but I wanna put a generous amount of pepper because we like it. And now when this melts a little bit, we're gonna add the garlic and the ham. And we are really off level here. <laughs> We're just uh, sitting here at the rest area, just south of uh, Calhoun, Georgia. Be right back. Okay, we're going to add uh, our garlic here. Must be all these uh, magnificent flavors. And it's really hot in here. If you guys excuse me, I'm gonna put the fantastic vent a little bit faster. And I'm gonna do, actually, turn on this fan. And real quick, to turn off my fire alarm, just in case. I'm sure uh, you are viewers are familiar with that procedure of turning off the fire alarm. Where is the... Where is it somewhere in here. I think we can add the ham and all this um, charcuterie. So we can um, so start mixing all the flavors. I'm just gonna get rid of this. It's a lot of ham. Usually, uh, usually I don't make it with all the with this much ham and uh, and sausage. But it wasn't the fridge; it was gonna go bad, so might as well use it, right? I'm going to add my garbanzo beans. Usually at home I have some pino seco, you know that that uh, golden cooking wine that I love to use, which is one of my my signature ingredients. But we don't have that here, so it's gonna come out maybe a little drier than it would at home, but you know what? We're on the road, we're really, really hungry. 
been driving for about two hours. And all this ham and all this uh, chorizo is also releasing a little bit of uh, moisture. So we'll be okay. Okay, now I'm gonna add a, a tiny little bit of this tomato sauce, which is just like a bruschetta and it has garlic and um, more olive oil. And that's gonna give it, give it a very nice flavor. I put it back in the fridge. And now my signature ingredient, Spanish paprika. Usually I use smoked or I use this stuff. Actually this stuff my mom brought me from Spain uh, last year. So it's very good, very authentic stuff. And now I'm gonna do some oregano. And the first time, fantastic vent is blowing all my oregano all over the place. And cumin. And I'm going, I'm going to add a little bit of that hot sauce we bought at the Magnolia Plantation here in the on I-75. Oops, I think I did a little too much. Doesn't matter, it's not that hot. And now I'm gonna mix all this stuff together. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. And um, I'll be back with the final uh, product here. At medium heat. And it's coming along uh, very nicely. And um, not exactly the same way I make it at home, but it's gonna be good, trust me. Whew, that was a filling meal. Uh, but um, it is time to hit the road again. And these people don't have coffee here. And I don't feel like making coffee. I don't have that long to go, I'll make it.